What is up guys, it's Bean here and welcome back to a new video. Now, MSN Messenger was released on the 22nd of July 1999 and it connected millions of users across the world. It is an iconic piece of software millions would remember from the early days of internet communication. It had support for Yahoo Messenger and Facebook Messenger which was a big reason for why it was popular back in the day. It was named MSN Messenger as all the older people knew it until 2005 when it was rebranded to the more popular name Windows Live Messenger which more people will remember it by for those who got internet access and so on in the mid to late 2000s and 2010s. If I'm correct, my brother used Windows Live Messenger too. In 2011, Microsoft acquired Skype for all we know which sucks but 3 years after that, MSN Messenger or Windows Live Messenger was discontinued and all the users were told to move on to Skype. I remember that because my brother was using Windows Live Messenger and since it was on the Samsung laptop I got that message when I was using the computer. Although it is dead and everyone uses Discord now including me, today I will be showing you guys how to get back Windows Live Messenger. Personally I have never used it but I have absolutely heard of it and obviously seen my brother using it and since I am a very old style guy it fits right in. This is all happening because of an unofficial server named Escargo. Escargo is a custom server which allows Windows Live Messenger to work again as it did back in the 2000s or the 2010s as how you would remember it. Since it's a new server, unfortunately old accounts that you may have used will not work so you will need to make a new one. Don't worry though because it doesn't have to be tied to anything so you can make it whatever you want. To make your account, go onto Escargo's website which is linked in the description below and click on sign up. Now it says create your account so let me just create an account here. As you can see here it says old MSN support required to log in to MSN 1, 2, 3 and 4. These versions are insecure so if you want to go ahead and try those you want to click that but since I don't want to try those I'm going to uncheck it and let's click on create an account. Okay and we're done. So basically since you've now created your account just go back to Escargo's homepage and now click on download messenger. Choose your language, where's English, here we go. And Escargo recommends using Windows Live Messenger 8 since it's pretty much the most stable one although Windows Live Messenger 09 to 12 are not supported yet but support for 09 is coming soon according to the website. If you want to use MSN Messenger versions 1 to 4 though, you should create a parcel which you really don't care about or simply a throwaway password because these clients do not have a secure login capability. Escargo provides patched versions of Windows Live Messenger 8.5, 8.1, MSN versions 7.5, 7.0, 6.2 and 5.0 but if you want to patch the application yourself they also provide unpatched versions including the 1 to 4 version. If you want to try out versions 1 to 4 though you need to patch it yourself which they have a guide on. Judging by how short it is, it shouldn't take very long. For 1 to 4, you need to change a key in the registry, and for 5.0 to 8.5, you need to use a hex editor. For simplicity's sake, though, I'm going to download the patch 8.5 version to show you. So I've downloaded Windows Live Messenger 8.5, the patch version, so I'm going to click run. And if you are running this on Windows 10, yes it does work on Windows 10 by the way, you might get the smart screen um, message saying that you know it's unsafe or something. So all you just got to do is click on more info and run anyway. And here we go. So basically, all you gotta do now is log into your account. Okay, so here we go. All you gotta do now is just log into your Escargo account that you just created. Here we go. And sign in. And that's how quick it is. 
so yeah everything works and would you look at that here we go and yeah everything works as it did back in the day Escargo also includes some additional applications that you could try out on their website including Windows Live Messenger Plus which was released in 2001 that gives some features like tabbed conversations and being able to search through chat logs and that's basically it I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I also hope you tried this out because now you can actually use it again like you did back in the day with your friends and family so have fun of course links to Escargo's website and their discord which I have joined will be in the description and many thanks to Escargo themselves for the whole resurrection of this piece of iconic history in the first place. And with that I'll see you guys later.